Hello everyone. Today in this video, I'll cover ZIA Posture Check Integration with CrowdStrike ZTA. CrowdStrike ZTA delivers real-time security posture assessment across all endpoints. Every endpoint is granted least privilege access and is assessed before gaining access to sensitive data and corporate assets, ensuring zero trust enforcement across all endpoints. By expanding the zero trust beyond the authentication and including the device uh, security, CrowdStrike Falcon ZTA helps organization maintain a holistic uh, cybersecurity approach that protects uh, their data and users from sophisticated tactics of uh, cyber adversaries. ZIA uses the uh, CrowdStrike ZTA score, which is also known as the device posture score, and allows only compliant endpoints to access selected applications. ZIA checks for any change to the CrowdStrike uh, device posture score before, uh, because the score may change over time. And ZIA achieves conditional access based on their device uh, trust level. And these device tr trust levels are determined by the ZIA posture profile that in turn references the device level posture check profiles. ZIA admin can simply specify that a minimum ZTA score is needed for an endpoint to grant access to resources that are referenced by different ZIA policies like uh, URL filtering policy, firewall policy, it could be um, file type control policy, cloud apps, or even SSL inspection policy. And you can combine the ZTA score uh, threshold requirements with other device posture profiles to allow only compliant devices to access resources through um, ZIA. So let's uh, hop on to the portal and uh, see that uh, first I must show that I have the user that is connected on my uh, on CIA this is the ZCC showing that the user is connected and uh, then on the mobile portal you could see that uh, this is the CIA posture profile that I have and uh, it has three level the high medium and low and the low requires the minimum ZT of 40 and uh, then for the medium trust level, the minimum is 40 and then there's a registry key for ZIA posture checking. Then uh, for uh, high, the requirements are that it needs to have a minimum uh, ZTA score of 40 plus few additional uh, requirements for posture checking. So these are uh, the uh, posture profile settings. And then uh, in the policies, we have uh, a uh, few policies here uh, that allows so the file type policies I have the second policy which uh, is for the high trust that uh, for this user for these file types and uh, it will only allow uh, this is the file type policy and which is for uh, the high trust and then for if the device falls into the medium trust level then to access those same files uh, by this user it will uh, give a caution splash page Whereas for uh, the low uh, trust level, it should block. So let's uh, go and try to download say, some files here. So if I go and download some exec uh, executable file for uh, uh, Putty, and you could see that it downloads uh, the file here as. Uh, my device is currently uh, under the high uh, trust level. So you could see that it has no problem downloading this file. So now is the next level. Uh, I have this uh, file here that I will delete to simulate that I uh, will make this. So, so this deletion will make the device uh, move to a medium trust uh, Right, uh, level and then uh, I'll apply the update the ZCC policy here and let's open in incognito and try to download an executable file here so you could see that now since the device is uh, a medium trust level device it uh, shows this uh, caution page so which is good which is exactly what we were looking for 
And uh, now as a final test, uh, I'll uh, rename the registry here. So this is the registry that I have. I'll rename the registry and this will make the device match the low trust criteria. So I will go ahead and uh, make this registry, just rename the registry. I will update the ZCC policy here. And then we'll go back and uh, uh, open the incognito and download the executable here again and we'll see that this time now since the device is a low trust level device it should basically block the uh, download so this is uh, the quick uh, way that you saw initially we started with the device in the high trust level download was allowed then we moved uh, to the medium trust and it was uh, cautioned and then as a low trust device, it blocks. So this uh, just a quick and easy way to show how you can have the ZTS score incorporated into the different uh, ZIA policies to provide granular access level control. So hope you find this uh, video helpful. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. Thanks and have a great day.